far away, in the Middle East, a revolution was starting which would end this vision of community forever. Human identity would never be the same again. In the Wadi Hanan, in southern Jordan, green malachite was exposed by flash flooding in a riverbed. It's one of the sources of copper. The thing that's fairly clear about malachite ore is that there was a lot of it around. In places like Wadi Fainan, it's one of the predominant rocks. Anyone that made a fireplace in Wadi Fainan out of the green rock was going to realise that this stuff melted at pretty low temperatures. And it wouldn't take them too long to know how to fashion this melted stone into a variety of forms. And better still, you could do it over and over again. The miners were inspired by the colour. They ground it into beads for jewellery without smelting it. But they had customers from the other side of the Dead Sea who wanted huge quantities. They had a monopoly, uh, that is, the people living in the Beersheba Valley, about 150 kilometres from here over there on metal production, i.e. they would send their miners, uh, their traders over here to procure the ore, to mine the ore, and then put it on the donkeys and sort of schlep it back across the desert to, um, to the Beersheba Valley. These traders had a secret the exact way of heating the ore to create something fabulous. By superheating with blowpipes, they created the first true smelted metal. Copper was used to make everything from ornaments to daggers. Not only that, it could be endlessly recast into other shapes. We're actually finding copper objects abandoned, which is very strange. Copper um, crucibles and the nozzles of bellows, which show us that they're actually making those objects on that site. And they're a long way from any copper. The nearest copper is over in the Wadi Araba in Jordan, yeah? uh, um, the other side of the Dead Sea and the other side of the, the, the Wadi Araba. And there we've got people who are apparently mining and smelting copper and there's hardly anybody living there to use the stuff. So presumably, again, we've got networks. And people living in southern Israel know how to get the materials they need from people who live in what is today southern Jordan. And people in southern Jordan who are sitting on the top of metal resources know that there are people living over to the west of them quite a long way away, several days' walk. Yeah? But there's a, there's a market, as we would say, in, in terms of our modern economics, that they know that there's people over there who, who, who want the stuff. Smelted copper was the first metal, and very exotic. It was a prime trade item, and the prime traders were the Rasulians. They loved a chance to show off, and copper could be cast into such wonderful shapes.